What's up everybody, this is Alpha here. I'm gonna do a review on a new episode of Magic Kaito 1412. Now, don't be surprised if this came out um, first for um, the Saturday. For Saturday, The reason being is because like Log Horizon 2 has not been subbed out yet, which is to my um, agitation, but at the same time, like, um, <laughs> yeah, so if anything else, let's just get started with episode 23 of Magic Kaito 1412. Um, this episode right here was actually pretty was actually pretty cool. So if anything else, let's go. Okay, we see too that Kaito Kid is trying to steal a black crow jewel or something, you know. But later on, he managed to knock out the guards. However, he ends up being tricked as it got really cold and his fingers are so numb. And therefore, he almost got caught, but due to his double disguise, he managed to escape. Inspector Nakamori almost might have almost figured out Kaito's identity. The reason being is because he says, like, I only told my daughter that I had a cold today. And I'm thinking in my mind, oh, dear lord, <laughs> etc. Anyways, as the episode goes on and progresses, we see to it that our buddy, buddies, see... Did not capture Kaito Kid thanks to his double disguise. However, there's I think there's an old man who knew about Kaito Kid's weakness about cold, and therefore the next day we see to it that Kuraba Kaito managed to give a pin to Alba's father. Well, he gave it to he gave it to Alko, and then Alko gave it to her father, and then later on they end up <coughs> using it to make a let me see here. Rifle scene or camera. It was like some spying camera. As Kaito watches for tonight as Ka Magic Kaito, he ends up being visited by a guy named Corbo the Phantom Thief or Corbo Kaito. And therefore they both talk to each other for a moment and made make a challenge make a challenge towards each other, you know? And he tells them like if I I could capture this jewel without having to touch it, so if you could catch it before me, then okay, cool. However, if I do it, you're gonna have to retire. And I'm thinking in my mind, ooh, that sounds like a challenge right there because like whoever loses have to retire from doing thieving, and and the old man who has who's the owner of the black crow jewel or something says like he's more concerned about the Black, fan black Phantom Thief than the white one. And therefore, <coughs> they got distracted by the crow, by the feather, by the crow's feathers, and therefore, he managed to steal it. And I go like, what kind of trick is this, you know? Because magic is, all, is, sometimes, is very, very doubtful sometimes, just being, liter just being literal. And, yeah, we see to it that Kaito Kid's trying to figure out what's going on, and the moment he gets home, he realizes the lights are on, and he realizes his mother is home. And I go like, huh. I wonder, I wonder if it's really, um, now here's a little detective or analytical theory or something. I wonder if it, if it's actually, a, if that's actually like, um, his father, but I highly doubt it. Who knows? Um, I, I could be wrong in many, many cases and I could be wrong here. So overall, nice episode, you know, I was so entertained from beginning to end. I went by so fast and I just think about my... Next week is the final one. I don't want it to freaking end. Are you kidding me? No, 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 no. <laughs> yeah. So, um, yeah, I think I'm going to end it here, people. Um, my next review will be Sailor Moon Crystal. Now, y'all might be surprised, but let's just say a sibling of mine or someone I watch with just had to go off somewhere. So, I'm going to have to watch without her, which is... Not the same, so if anything else, I'll see y'all till then. I'm out for zero. Have a good day, and I'll see you guys in my next video, alright? Peace out. Bye-bye.